All right, welcome back. We'll go out of that door. Tomorrow we're gathering at the beach for the annual Pelican Town Luau. Highlight of the event is the communal potluck. Make sure you bring something good to contribute. The governor himself is attending the event. Make sure you're on your best behavior. Come to the beach sometime between 9 a.m. and 2 p.m. Okay. Um, those aren't done yet, so... You need this box. That stuff in. Oh, not the frozen tear. Uh, that thing. Charcoal kiln. I will put over here. No, can't put over here. Okay, put right there. How about that? Okay, okay, cool. Build those. We're gonna go through our copper or our, our coal pretty quickly. That. But we have eleven iron bars, which is. Um, what do we, what do we need to do here? Something that I meaning to do. Definitely need to get some more sap. Not, not very much. We just need... Enough to replace any soil that uh, loses its... Fertilizer. Alright, stand there. Hopefully this is the best place to do this. Oh, it'll be so nice once we get our sprinklers and this is just all automated and don't have to worry about it every morning. So, we got really lucky having two rain showers in a row. Out of water. I'm a little surprised that some of the it doesn't look like some of these seeds are growing yet. Now you have to be careful with trussles. I'm sure I mentioned this earlier whenever we had uh, trussles last, but they can block you from watering stuff, so you have to be careful where you put it that you don't block yourself from watering some of your crops. I'm pretty sure you can uproot them, but it will destroy it. The plant looks dead, but I'm not sure if that's just what the plant is supposed to look like or not. Weird. And we're almost out of energy already. Well, we did start the day off pretty low energy. So we'll go ahead and finish off this. Yeah, yeah, I know. Um, we'll go ahead and fill our watering can first, first and foremost. We'll eat our green algae, just to get it out of our inventory. Collect our iron, and um, we'll, we'll start off with some copper, do some more copper, because we're running low. Okay. Now I think it would be, be wise to go ahead and get our check on our mushrooms. Yep. Got 
got a little bit of a couple different mushrooms. Contrail. Sure, that's not how you actually say it, but it. Pretty sure that's similar, or kind of what you have to say. Kind of what you say. All right. We'll hold on to one of everything, and we'll go ahead and do that. Sorry about that. And sneeze. Ugh. Eat sneezing so much. And, and use up the rest for coal. Is, yeah. You need coal for everything in this game. Kind of ridiculous. Alright. We'll go ahead and head up to the sauna. Or bathhouse. Whatever. Sorry about that. I needed to check something. Make sure OBS was still recording me. Okay. I don't enjoy having to go to the bathhouse, but it's what I have to do in order to actually get all of my energy back. Even though I shouldn't have... I don't like that you start with like half energy, you go to bed late. Or half the energy that you're missing. I mean, I understand why they do it. Because, it, I mean, it makes sense. Go to bed late, wake up really tired. But, still... Gameplay-wise, it's a bit annoying. Okay, cool. And we're back up to full energy, and we can take on the day. And we have some grapes, just in case. Okay. Fine to say, let's just continue. No, well, hold on. I don't really want to, but I think it would be worth checking the bulletin board, see if there's anything that we might be able to get. Board. I don't really want to do it because it's just taking up time. Nope, nothing new. Yep, complete waste of time. Great. Oh well. 2.30. We got time. Time to kill. You know what? Hey Linus. This is a great gift. Thank you. You're welcome. What are we doing with him? Okay, we did just give him a second gift for the week. You're very you're limited to two gifts a week, one gift a day. So make sure to use them wisely. Oh, to kill the last thingy. Stupid jerk keeps flying near me. Go, go, go. Didn't want to get hit again. Stupid pod shot. Okay. Uh, break that rock. 
please and thank you. Okay, thank you. I do appreciate you showing me where the exit was, but I really wish it wouldn't have been right there where I was trying to get through. Expecting that to go a little farther. Alright, let's. Oh, missed an iron. As much iron as I can get. Alright. Not ask you guys to follow me. This thing going to actually come after me. Ooh. Kinda wish these crystals gave me something. Nope. Gotta get out, gotta get out. That mist meant that there were a bunch of bats about to show up. Just be annoying. Back off. I saw it first. Slimes and annoying little dust mites. Okay, cool. Uh, no coal, that was unfortunate, but. Really good thing that your um, swords don't break. an exit which never shows up when you actually want it to there's a trick to this I want to know is there actually a trick to finding the ladder okay cool other than just Whacking every rock you find. Because this just feels. Ooh, I'm itchy. Will you quit? The longer I stay down here in these stupid tunnels, the more bats are going to show up. Does it just show up after a certain period of time, or a random period of time? I don't know. It'd be something nice to know. See if there's a way to manipulate it to showing up a lot sooner than this. <laughs> this is just... it's boring to do and uh, watch, I'm sure. Plus, it's draining my energy. Only benefit is the fact that I'm finding stuff in a lot of these rocks. Wow. Go away! Yeah. Okay. Uh, grape. Too much. Really hoping to get down to the next floor. Sake, where is the exit here? 
Damn bats, go away! Ugh. Boing things. Of course, I'm out of energy healing stuff. But yeah, I'm gonna have to just leave here soon if I don't find exit. Ugh. Go away, you frickin' bats! Alright. Need to. Just need to get out. That's really unfortunate. Of course it. Yeah. Can't. Damn it. Of course that last room took all of my energy. Cave carrot's not going to do much. Burning energy. I need to get out. I have to. Would be really nice is if I could have found the. Wasting way too much time. So yeah, tonight you're probably going to see me, um, not make it back in time. This is so exciting. Love when I make it one floor uh, away from the next checkpoint. Really makes me feel good. Feel good. Wow. <sighs> well, that was exciting. All right. Can you? A eleven. It should be a little bit and before the episode needs to end, unfortunately. Um. Oh, yeah. That can go in there. The rest of this could probably go... Hold on to the geode. Turn the wood in. Fill... Uh... Oh. Okay. Pleasure to inform you that your farm will be featured in next week's up and coming column of Stardew Valley Tribune. Congratulations. Impressed with your quick progress. SVT. Okay, thanks. Um, yeah, I just remembered that today is that Luau thingy. So, need to go ahead. Unfortunately, oh, yeah. honey. Unfortunately, um, we won't be able to actually turn in our stuff today, which is sad. I think it's sad at least. Uh, we need that. Turn in the poppy seeds and the wild honey here. Um. Well, is one of our jellies. Turn in iron. Then we'll sell the other honey, or the other jelly. Uh, grab these seeds. I decided to buy a few extras. The reason that I'm telling you about it. 
for the reason I'm telling you. Definitely didn't just buy it just to buy it. Alright. Um, that in. Oh, crap. Uh, we need the scythe. Be able to this. Oop. Something else that I missed? Must have. Okay, we'll just use the rest of these melon seeds. Time for the fun part. So yeah, that must have been a dead plant, I guess. Maybe I missed it when I was starting the summer seeds. I didn't think so. Well, I don't know. Weird. I don't think plants can just die unless it's a change in the season. <sighs> Stupid watering can. I don't think upgrading the watering can actually gives you more... Well, it, it, it probably gives you more water capacity. Who has begun? Need to take something. Probably take one of our gold somethings. Whatever it might be, who knows. I wonder when these melons are. I think they. I plant them on the first day, so they should be done tomorrow. Alright. Realize this isn't very interesting commentary, and uh, this part of the game is not the most exciting. Hopefully here soon. Once we get far enough down in the mines to start finding gold, we can begin crafting our sprinklers. It'd be really nice once we start finding and start building sprinklers. Because being completely out of energy at 11 a.m. is not really ideal. Add in, we need something. We will take a gold potato. No, no. Take a gold cauliflower. I think cauliflower is a little more, a little better. All right. Copper. Okay. Sweet peas here. All right. We can go ahead and head towards the beach. Hopefully, uh, everyone is enjoying Stardew Valley. I'm, I know I am, even though there's some parts that I might get annoyed with. Alright, that must be the governor. Wow, you don't get hot pepper chutney like this in the big city. This is tiring, honey. Are you ready to visit the buffet soon? Ow, you stepped on my foot, dear. He's unresponsive. I'm bored. Vincent isn't a good dancer. 
Ah, uh, the smell of the ocean takes me back many years, long before you were born. That music, it's too loud. Can't I have a little peace and quiet to enjoy the ocean? You could come here any other day. I would dance, but I don't want to get sweaty. <laughs> God, white girls. Alright, perfect weather for a beach party, huh? One year, Sam put a pound of anchovies in the potluck soup. Guess they must not like anchovies. It's tiring to socialize with everyone. I'd rather watch the sea. Someone out here. Who's this? This. Ooh, the wizard. Mer people are curious about your festivity. Mer people in them, their seas. Blasted sandflies keep landing on the food. <laughs> Free buffet, one of the perks of living here. Enjoy it, kid. Hmm, maybe if I get on the governor's good side, he'll give my business a tax break. Wonder if he likes aged whiskey. Push. I put fresh vegetables from my garden into the communal soup pot. Uh, yeah. If we talk to Marnie, she'll tell us to go ahead and put our stuff in on this side. Yep. Add a cauliflower to the soup. Hope the soup is good this year. Well, it definitely will be with my gold star cauliflower. Full, but what else is there to do besides eat? Good thing I came with sunscreen. Yes, you did, Tarby. Good job. Whatever Linus is roasting smells awfully good. Slow, continuous rotation is key to a perfect roast. Governor, who cares? We do this festival every year to give the governor a taste of everything the valley has to offer. How's the farming coming along? It must be a busy season for you. Yes, yes indeed. Woke up late, stepped out of the door, and found myself in the middle of all this hubbub. Not know it was happening? We'll be back here by the trees. The air is a lot cooler. And unfortunately we can't go over to our secret beach. Alright, if you put your food into the pot, go over and talk, not with the governor, but with um, Lewis. What a lovely occasion. It's always a joy to visit Stardew Valley. Alright, look sharp. The governor is here for his annual visit. If you brought something for the potluck, make sure to add it to the soup cauldron. We move forward with Luau. The governor seems a little hungry. Yes, let's start. Well, folks, it's time once again for the potluck ceremony. I trust that you all put high quality ingredients in the pot this year. You don't want the governor to regret his visit to the valley. Yeah, if you put anything bad, such as Lewis's purple shorts, <sighs> I forget if he just like despises it or if he loves it. But I'm pretty sure he does reference the purple shorts if you put it in. What are these purple shorts doing? Well, Governor, would you do us the honor of tasting the soup? Of course, I've been looking forward to this all year. Oh my, that's the best soup I've ever tasted. Shaking uncontrollably. Right, it's delicious. Wonderful job, everyone. Now, who else wants a taste? 
Alright, cool. Well, the governor wasn't kidding. The suit was out of this world. Time to head home. Alright. Eh, there's nothing else to do. Okay. And... That. Uh, let's see. How much money we get? 200. Eh. Alright, and with that, I'll see you guys next time.